groups are the cornerstone for your AstroPrint for Fleets account. Basically, groups let you control resources within your fleet and who has access to which resources. And AstroPrint makes them very easy to set up. So you can view your groups either as a visual chart. If you have a complex uh, group structure, this is very beneficial, or as a list view that's more granular. Creating a group, very simple. Just hit Create Group, select a parent group, and name it. And you're done there. Now, what a group is, is a collection of resources that can only interact within that group. So if we look at our uh, demo here of an engineering class at a university that has their own 3D printer lab, we can assign users to that group. Then we'll also assign shared file folders to the group. For them, it might be a midterm project folder or whatnot. Uh, we can assign 3D printers to that group uh, and even printer profiles, slicing profiles. Perhaps the engineering class, we want to have access to more advanced slicing profiles than let's say general students or whatnot. And it's that simple for setting up the groups. Uh, in other videos, we'll go through setting up roles and permissions for these users and defining more how they interact uh, with the resources. But I do wanna talk a little bit about best practices around setting up your group structure. If you're a large complex organization, you may need many different groups like we have here for a university that has multiple uh, 3D printing labs in the library, you have a general student bucket that can interact with them. Uh, and then there's a 3D printing lab uh, for the engineering students only, uh, and only they can interact and share files related to that uh, printer lab with their group, and so on and so forth for this university setup. Now, many organizations only need one group because they're just running 40 3D printers in one place and everybody's sharing that. But what we found is even when it is a single location like that, many times the admins want to separate out and segment groups on top of it. So for example, they may want an admin group that has three to four printers available only to admins for emergencies or a major project is underway and a certain set of people need dedicated access to four or five printers for the next, let's say, month, where you could spin up a group just for them uh, and segment that out. So AstroPrint makes it really simple to set up any type of group structure you need. And if you have questions about what's the best group structure for your organization, just reach out and ask. We're, we're happy to help.